Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to a video that I am doing. Uh, basically, I'm gonna call this Minecraft Hacks. Uh, first off, not going to tell you where to get any of these hacks, because I don't want people hacking. Secondly, this video is mainly going to be focusing on how to recognize a hacker and what to do if you see one. Um, just like to state this up front, I do not support hacking on servers. I actually am highly against it. Um, I'm just going to show you what some of the hacks are and what they can do. For example, that one. This one is called a, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you what it's called. Basically, what it does is it highlights, um, players no matter where they are so I can basically see who it is this is a very common one that I've seen in mind strike basically if you walk around the corner and then get one shotted by a dude with an off he obviously knew you were there and so you really can't do much about it but I mean this one you can't do much about other than just leave the game so that they don't kill you and get gems for it. Because as I said, I am in no way for hacking. I'm just making this to try and get people to stop hacking. Uh, so pretty much what it does is it highlights the um, hackers. Not hackers, it doesn't highlight hackers. Well, it highlights them too. But it highlights the players. So you can always see where they are. And it is quite common in games like Mind Strike that is, it, it's it's really necessary to know where the enemy is. But as I said, you can't really do a whole lot against it. Um, there's not really a whole lot you can do against it. But, it is out there, if you see it, report them, try and take, like, a video of them doing it. The recorder that I would recommend is called BB Flashback Express. It's currently what I'm using to record this until I get a nicer, like, capture card or something. But, yeah, try and record them doing it, because most servers won't, um... Okay, most servers really won't ban anybody if you just accuse them of hacking. You actually have to have it recorded. So, if you really want to guard against hackers, just record every video that you do. And, hopefully, you'll get them banned and they'll stop hacking. But yeah, that's basically the only way to recognize somebody who has this hack is you walk around the corner and instantly get shot. Uh, sometimes it's just speed, like if they aren't facing you, then they probably weren't doing it. But if they're just sitting there waiting for you, and they haven't seen you already, like, you have never seen that person yet, that round, and you walk around the corner and bam, you're dead, they're probably hacking with this. So just try and record it. As I said, record your whole games if you want to do that. If you don't have a great computer, it'll probably make it lag. So, if... if by the way, if this video is really laggy, I apologize. The, the program that allows me to do this is quite laggy. So, yeah. But, don't just spam the chat calling people hackers and all that. Um, they're really, from what I could find, there aren't really any hacks that just give them extra strength. I'll cover some of the other hacks and how to recognize them and what to do against them in a minute. But, yeah. There isn't really a whole lot in the way of, like, especially in Mind Strike. I couldn't find anything that just makes you one-shot people with no matter what gun you have. But, as I was saying, you know, the, so don't, if, if somebody just one-shots you, 
Don't call him a hacker. Just... Except that maybe they're better than you, so... Um, I've, I've learned a lot from trying out some of these things. As I said, I don't support it. Don't do it. But... i just trying to help you realize what's a hacker and what's not. So, basically... This is really the only hack that you can use in Mind Strike currently. Um, there is one that makes you take no fall damage, but there's also, again, really no way you can t tell that unless you can record the other person's screen, which means you're hacking somehow. Um, there currently aren't any real programs that block hackers other than hacks, so again, don't do it. Uh, pretty much though. Okay. In Mindstrike, there's not really a whole lot that you can do against hackers, um, because there's very few hacks that actually are used in this. But, I'm going to go over some of the other hacks now, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, this time, I am on Hypixel, and I'm using a couple different things. One makes me run faster than everybody. Uh... It's pretty obvious to notice you see somebody with that. You can just record them and report them. I'm also using one... Oops. Also using uh, one that allows me to climb walls. Again, easy to see. Record and report. Um, I'm also using one that just keeps me sprinting. That one, it's really not that big of a deal. I mean, it does give them a slight advantage, but... It's not really going to harm the game in any way, because, I mean, you could just sprint regular Minecraft. Um, also, I think... I think I had another one in here. But, um... Basically, yeah, the, uh... The, the ones I'm using currently are really easy to notice. Um, you can just record whoever's doing it and report them and I'm sure they'll get banned. Um, I will put a link in the description for where you can report people. But obviously don't report everybody you see. And they will require video evidence for most things. So... Um, uh, Pretty sure that's about it this time for the, for these few things. But yeah, you basically you can climb the walls. That's if you see someone on top of a map, report them. Just take a screenshot for that. Um, because they'll even even if they're only block glitching, they'll get banned for that too on most servers. Uh, so yeah, and then if they're moving really fast, just record it for a second or two. And just watch how fast they're moving. And if it's a game where you can't get speed potions, then voila, they're reported and gone. So, I believe that's all there is for these few things. I'll, again, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, This time, I'm using... Which one? Oh yeah, a couple of different ones. Um, basically, I've got this one, which is not working, which should be working, but... Basically, in case you hadn't noticed, I'm not taking any knockback from this dude. Um, I'll try and show you if you didn't see it that round. Let me see here. If it... If you didn't see it that round. Um... If, if you, again, if you're recording and you see someone who doesn't take knockback, then... They're pretty obviously hacking, so... I would, again, just record and report. It's, again, pretty obvious. Uh... Mineplex is pretty well guarded against a lot of different hacks. Um, but it really depends on the game.
because they aren't, it's not like a full server guard, it's each game is guarded against different things in specific. So, it, it's definitely, it, it's a nice server, but they do have some games where it's pretty easy to do specific hacks. I'm not going to tell you which ones they are, but, uh, yeah, the, it really depends on the game which ones there are. Yeah, uh, that's the one that makes me take no knockback. Uh, again, if you see someone who's not taking knockback, just record them and report it. It'll probably get them banned. I don't know what servers really are against that. Hopefully all of them. The best guarded server that I have found is Minecraft Central. There's almost no hacks that you can really use on that one. You'll pretty much get either kicked or um, they just don't work. Uh, next would probably be Mineplex, but it really depends on the game. And then Hypixel is also pretty well guarded against most hacks as well. So... Those are the three best servers that you won't run into hackers on. And I guess I'll be right back with the next thing. Okay, I'm back. Um, yes, my screen is much smaller because the thing displays what the hacks are called over on the left side of the screen. So Basically, obviously I have a flight one, a speed one, which is pretty common. Um, there's another one which makes you climb low, if I can actually hit the ladder. Makes you climb the ladders faster. Most of those you can catch on recording. Uh, another one where fire doesn't do much. much. It, it, like, I think it decreases the damage that fire does to you by like 50%. Which, that one you can't really tell. And then there's another one where... Cobwebs do nothing. And then, obviously, your good old-fashioned range ones. And, yeah. So, yeah. Pretty much, they're all pretty obvious. Again, most of these you can catch on recordings. Uh... Just, as I said, record and report. Most of them, except for the fire one, you can just catch it on a recording and it'll probably get, um, the person will probably get banned. Another one makes you break blocks faster. Fortunately, most of the time, the blocks glitch back. But that's another one that it'll be harder to get on recording. Um... There's another one. Makes you eat a little faster. Again, that's not really big deal, and you're not really going to be able to catch that on a recording. Uh, another couple things that you're not really going to be able to do much about. They don't make a whole lot of a difference, but those are just some of the things. And most servers, of course, flying is banned. Um, oh, pretty much all of them. You'll get kicked if you fly. And then, uh, of course the speed one, you'll get kicked for suspicious movement on most servers as well. Uh, I'll be right back with a couple more things. Okay. Um, back again. And this time... It's uh, another hack, which, as you can see, I'm obviously not shooting that creeper, but it is still getting hit. Now, granted, the arrows do have to go pretty close to the creature, whatever it is, or player, um, to work. 
but it's still obviously a hack, and, uh, yeah, that one, since you have to be shooting close to them, you can't really catch that on recording. Um, but pretty much if you, like, if you get a recording where they obviously are sniping people from 300 meters away, and just destroying them, hitting every time, they're probably likely going to get banned. But, that one is kind of hard to catch. If you manage to do it, though, um, they probably will get banned, though not every time. Uh, pretty much there isn't really much of a way to avoid this one. The range one, that you can avoid by being behind the person. Because a lot of them, like, attack everything on that person's screen within range at the same time. So, really the only way to avoid it is to be behind them or just quit the game the minute you realize that they have it. And, well, record them killing you and then quit the game. And report them. That's another great thing to do. But, this there, again, isn't really a whole lot of way to avoid other than just strafe a lot. And if you're strafing a lot and still getting hit every time, then when you report them, they'll probably get banned. So, I'll be right back with, I think, the last one that I'm going to cover. Okay. Um... Let's see here. Back with obviously the thingamabob. Bob. And now I have another one which is fairly common on Mind Strike. Not even gonna bother not saying what it is because everybody will probably notice the minute I get near someone. It is your good old fashioned. Well, pretty obvious, I think. As you can see, I can't look away from that dude as long as I'm near him. That one, if a guy is hitting you every single time he swings, probably has it. Also, what was brought to my attention is for the bow one, where they have that, um, the bow bot that hits you every time just go into F5 mode and watch for the arrow to go past you and you take damage that should probably be pretty obvious that they have a hack so I think that's pretty much all there is currently that I'm aware of and I'll put in the dis in, in the description a link to the IP for Mindplex, Hypixel, and Minecraft Central, along with a link to um, the... I don't know if Minecraft Central or Hypixel have a page to report people, but um, you can probably just go to their website and find it. Um, but I'll also put in the description a link to BB Flashback Express, which I would like to point out right here now. This was not sponsored by them, not being paid or given anything to say this. It's just, I currently find it to be the most useful one out there and easy to use. And it'll, it'll give you a decent recording fairly easily. So if you want to get what they're, what they're doing then that'll work and again like to apologize for any lag in this video because the things that I'm doing to use these hacks make my game and video recorder laggy so another reason not to use them but thank you for watching this hopefully it helps you hopefully you report and ban a lot of hackers and I'll see you next time so bye <laughs>